Welcome to this 170th commencement ceremony of Hillsdale College. Thank you for coming. Let us remember to be grateful for the blessings of the Lord upon this college, which have been abundant. The ceremony is on the occasion of the graduation of the seniors, but it's not just about them. It took everybody here to produce this ceremony. Take the faculty and the work they have done to lead us through the things we need to know because of what we are. They live with the students. They laugh with them. They eat with them. They cry with them. The parents are important. This room is full of parents, swelled with pride. They spend a third of their lives or more taking care of these young people. And what they give to their children is everything they've got. They're friends of the college here. They support the college. Everybody in this room and everybody watching is part of the achievement that we're here to celebrate today. As a group and individually, these seniors are the best we ever had. And I went back in my notes from last year and verified that I said that last year too. And it was true both years. And I expect it will be true next year. You get a year to be top of the heap. But you are awesome people and you will be greatly missed here, except you are not leaving after all. You're going to live the life that you have prepared yourself to live and you're gonna live it in contact with this college, which is a partnership that includes you. You seniors, you graduates, you're at a pinnacle of sorts. That's one metaphor, a pinnacle. Another, how about a crossroads? The metaphor works because you make a decision. You go one direction or another. And there's an old blues idea that you meet the devil at the crossroads at midnight. And then you might ask, well, why do you meet the devil at the crossroads? And the answer is most fundamentally because when you come to a place in your life where you have to make a choice, you aim up or down. And so, you know, you're called upon to, to take the lessons that you've been taught in a university like this, that, that teaches you to abide by the eternal verities, to sacrifice your own narrow pretensions in the highest sense to something that's truly better. Anything you pursue that isn't that is insufficient. You're a particularized creature as a son of God or a daughter of God, let's say. You have something to bring into the world that no one else can bring in. And so if you fail in that duty, then you deprive the world of that. There's no shortage of suffering in life, and no one thinks their own suffering isn't real. And maybe there's a possibility that there's some aim that's so high that the attempt alone to move in that direction is of sufficient value to act as a panacea for the suffering. And so you could say at the end of your life, oh my God, that was so hard. It was worth it. And so that's the choice you make at the crossroads. If you have any sense. Now at our freshman convocation, Dr. Arn told us to get your boots on. We have to have this inherent desire to learn and to expand our knowledge. Hillsdale's given that to us. Here at Hillsdale, we are meant to be together as a family. And more importantly, we are meant to achieve self-government together. And along the way, you'll set down a path and live an example for others to follow for this amen. In other words, keep your boots on. I was going to speak more extensively, uh, but Dr. Jordan Peterson covered most of the topics I had planned to talk about. Actually, I am here in my capacity, my proud capacity as chairman of the Board of Trustees of Hillsdale College, and I'm representing the board when I, uh, first of all, thank the graduates for all they have brought to this campus over the last several years. You have not only uh, received a world-class education, you've learned what it takes to be a, a good and effective citizen. You've spent time thinking about and talking about the good and the true and the beautiful. All that is inside you now, and it's just up to you to get out there and, and shine a light on the world. From all of us here, again, congratulations to the 170th graduating class of Hillsdale College. <laughs>